one of the things we had to do at the very start here, when none of us had any money, literally there was no beans to be rubbed together at all, was exchange activities like somebody the guy who put up these screens you know put that in for free because it was something he could do um, and the design of the place was something that I was involved with and you know I had design skills somebody had building skills somebody else had PR skills somebody else had interior uh, design skills somebody else had you know we, we kind of used bartering to kind of get further along because money had fallen out of the equation now. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that there's legal rules why that isn't exactly the best way to, to carry out transactions. But people have got focused on the money and the money really is only a representation for bartering. You know, I don't have the right skill to match what you need right now, so I'll give you money instead until you find the right skill. And that's really all it ever came from. So by focusing on money, you're you're right. It's, it, it's, 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 it's letting the rules of the game distract you from what the game is about you know it's it's like kind of not really it's actually the, the kind of wrong way around you're you're not playing the game at all Welcome to the Fumbly Exchange. Uh, this is our official launch. Um, up until today, I think it was an experiment, but today I'm very happy to say that um, I think it works. Um, we have 40 businesses working here now. From here on, the story of Ireland is the story of recovery. And there is no better example of recovery and how recovery is going to be achieved than what we are seeing here this morning. This is what recovery looks like. This is people who have hit on bad times, who have got themselves back up again, who are moving forward, who are taking new opportunities, who are expanding their uh, businesses, uh, doing things uh, to get themselves out of their own financial uh, difficulty, and by doing that, obviously, dragging the country with them. The resources that's in the family exchange, whether it's graphics, 3D rendering, it's just all right here. It's just a one-stop shop for us. So that's, that's what the Family Exchange to me represents. It's just so easy to work with and so many creative people in the one area. It's more than just an office. It's a, a community of creative professionals I'm able to tap into and it, it's a great buzz here. I was working out of my spare bedroom and it was a bit of a lonely existence so it was great to come back into a an uh, atmosphere of collaboration where I've got um, people of all sorts of disciplines around me. I can uh, pull together specific teams for projects, bringing in landscape architects, engineers, graphic designers, and uh, there's a great atmosphere in here, and it's, it's, a, it's a really positive experience for uh, starting a new business. Um, we found uh, through research that if you just set up a business like, or a hub like this and call it open to everyone, uh, nobody comes. So we decided instead to kind of target a specific audience, and I'm in the design uh, community uh, so that seemed natural but it also uh, emerged from my research that uh, design and creative clusters can actually be a dynamic spark to societies in trouble. I'd just like to congratulate George and the Fumbly Exchange uh, for giving us a model of, of how we can respond in a recession and showing us new ways of how we can work together. Welcome to Design Dialogue. Uh, we are very privileged today to be uh, participating in this Innovation Dublin event. This is uh, one of the events here at the Fumbly Exchange that we're running in 2011. Um, we tend to try to do this every month. I think uh, means uh, say it well, but I think it also means say it within the time. On the flyer for the event, you know, it was George Ball, receiver of the Arthur Guinness Fund. Well, obviously, that plays a credibility on working with yourselves. They've also suggested that through Bumble Exchange, they want to connect their social enterprise groups with the Arthur Guinness Fund itself. We're trying to increase our own network and social economy and tailoring our products and services so that we match the requirements of the social enterprise, particularly in the north and in the south. So it looks like we might have uh, a bonus um, alongside the great uh, events that we're running here today. And hopefully with the help of the fund, we can do a lot more of them in the future. 
I met George about two months ago and I was really intrigued and inspired by the, the warmth and the individuality of the collective design spirit at Fumbly. What I really value about this Fumbly exchange is what I call, think of is a soft capital. It's a great place for, for inspiration, advice, um, reassurance from the very profound, um, from people like George, to the very pragmatic. You come in and out of being a creative person and your success, if you're a freelancer, is like, I'm doing great, I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> that sort of cycle. Whereas teams can't, the sort of those waves cancel each other out. So you can create consistency through teamwork. We're very keen to take our expertise and work with other people and we feel that there's a great synergy between what we do at Ulster and what the potential that we have to do with Fumbly. One sort of qu quote that I sort of keep going back to when I when I've work with other people, and I've always worked with other people, is that, you know, it was said that first we think and then we create, but really, does it need to be that way? Well, I mean, everyone was brilliant, but I thought Trish Belford was amazing. Um, just the innovation and the new ideas and the way that she went about working and the whole process was just amazing. But I mean, everybody, I mean, Davy from Alch, always a fantastic thing to hear how he goes about his work. Green infrastructure isn't always a spatial or physical infrastructure, it can be also about uh, systems and um, technology uh, in particular. When the guy from the journal.ie started to talk I thought well how, where's this going with the design but actually the design, maybe people don't think about it, but the design of, a, of that as a product was a fantastic thing to have involved with, with the event today and I think the brilliant thing is that everybody is in a very different field here and, but it all comes back to design in the end. So we built a prototype. Uh, we spent six months publishing on a fake site to no one. Uh, no one was reading it to begin with. And then we started inviting in um, you know, test readers. Uh, and the whole time we refined our processes, figured out what it was to publish online, uh, and figured out what it was that people wanted. Well, what I'd learned with technology and learned with software developers was they have brilliant systems for agile project management. So what if we took Agile project management and put it on the other iterative process, which is creativity, and taught creative people how to plan, process, and time the shifts in creative thinking? And we found that was really, really successful. Amazing stuff. Really amazing. So I suppose, in summary, it's kind of moving out of that uh, old way of thinking about how you work, which is very much focused on your own progress and your own identity and yourself, the I thinking, uh, into a new way of, of operating, which is what we call the we thinking, um, without being too hippy trippy about it. It's looking at where you sit in a complex system of opportunities and how your skills and your talents and your awareness of your experience and limitations can um, enrich the lives of the people around you and through that you can come to a, a much more I suppose uh, formulaic success for the times we're in now so less of the I and more of the we making work together. Thank you.